Should I ask my boyfriend if he ever had slept with his female best friend? They have been friends since middle school and she has been there in almost every major and minor milestones in his life. She is like a member of his family. She used to sleep in his apartment all the time and continued to do so until about three months into the relationship. I can't help but wonder if they have any sexual history together. I want to ask him, but I'm nervous that it would upset him. She told me she had him. She had seen him naked when their group of friends went skinny dipping as a dare. Should I ask him if they ever have slept together? Just want to premise this by saying I'm not an expert. I don't have any kind of credentials and I shouldn't be giving any kind of professional uh, advice when it comes to relationships or mental health or emotional health. So consider this just as an opinion rather than advice. Before you can answer that question, I think there are certain questions that you need to answer first. Number one, why do you want to ask? What is, it, what is the problem that you're experiencing? And do you really think that answering that question is going to solve your problem? Number two, are you ready for the answer? What if he says yes? Is that going to affect you and him? Are you going to not want the friendship, his friendship with his best friend to continue? Um, are, you, are you going to get jealous if you are jealous now? Are you going to get jealous even more if you're not jealous now? Are you going to, get, are you going to start getting jealous? And if he says no, are you going to delete him? Number three, you aren't married yet. The two of you aren't married yet. You haven't even been together for, for a year. So do remember that you are questioning a relationship of two decades, a very good relationship of two decades. As I've said, they, as you have communicated to me, they've been together through thick and thin. They have been with each other for such a long time. They trust each other. And most likely, the two of them are very sure that no matter what happens in the future, they will always be friends. If answering that question results to anything any sort of instability in your relationship do you think your young relationship with him could actually handle it at this stage number four even if it isn't him regardless of uh, any kind of relationship that you had uh, or you have or you will have or you've had with any kind of a guy you are remember that you are dating somebody with a past Okay, doesn't matter even if it's not him, even if it's somebody else, you are going to be dating somebody with a past. And if you judge them or have hang ups towards their past because of their past, then your relationship are most likely not going to work out. Okay, I think if you answer those four questions, you'll be able to determine whether or not you should ask your boyfriend about his sexual past with his best friend, the existence or non existence of it. Now, I think just from what you've told me on your letter i do think that they love each other but i think they love each other like brothers and sisters rather than a romantic attraction between them and i think that because in your letter you said that she used to come over a lot like she would come to his place at will and that is nothing strange between friends i've had friends before that took the liberty of actually coming to my house unannounced. They would just come over whenever they like. And that was the dynamics of our relationship. So that's something normal, regardless of the gender of that friend. Now, she, you told me, and you said in the letter, and you actually allowed me to read it out loud, that eventually, after three months into the relationship, she actually stopped coming over at will. So that means that it, that this is how I interpret that. I, it means that she's pay, she's respecting your relationship with his with her best friend with your boyfriend. I think that she didn't want to cause any kind of conflict in the remote chance that there comes a conflict because she's over there a lot. She stopped coming over. So that is a sign that she's respecting your relationship with him, and she, I think you should credit her for that, right? So. I, if that, again, if that was me in your position, I would not attempt to drive a wedge between them. I would do the opposite. I would try to make her, um, I would try to f make her feel welcome in my world. So, it, you know, if there are some non-romantic activities that you would be doing with your boyfriend, every now and then I would ask my boyfriend if we can invite his best friend and I think that's going to make him happy 
because it shows that you trust him it shows that you would like to um, be a part of the things that he enjoys and if he says no if he doesn't want to do that then respect that as well um, I personally don't mix and match my friends <laughs> if I'm with a certain group of friends I would rather keep this group of friends and if I'm with another set of friends then I would rather just be with this set of friends and that that's not because I'm trying to be um, I'm not trying to be possessive or anything it's just that the dynamics are different and so I would rather keep them separate so there's also a, also a possibility that even if you want to include her your boyfriend doesn't want to do that and maybe that's because there's just a different dynamics and that's natural that's just absolutely natural you don't have to put any mean, meaning into that okay however if you really feel bothered by it if it means that much to you go ahead and ask just make sure that you are talking about your own emotions rather than passing the blame on somebody else, specifically her. And it's just a matter of phrasing the words the right way. Instead of saying, I'm bothered that you might have had a sexual past, you can say that when this happens, you I feel why, right? So if this thing happens, the tendency for me is to feel this way and blah, blah, blah. Make sure that it is very clear to him that this is your issue and that you are trying to resolve it with his help. And make sure that he understands that you are opening up, opening up because there's something that's bothering you and you know there's something wrong in the situation and you don't know what it is and that you're trying to figure it out with him. So it's not necessary that there's something wrong with you. It's just that there's something wrong with the situation. You don't know what it is or maybe you do, but nonetheless, you do need his help to resolve everything. Don't make it as if you want her out of his life and that you're bothered by their past. It's just that there's something that you need to work out and the two of you are in this relationship and it's going to affect your relationship so you're talking it out with him. Do remember, make him understand that you're opening up to him because you want to work out your relationship. And at the end of the day, it's going to be your issue to resolve, but you do need him because he is your partner. Also remember that he is his own person and that you are building a beautiful life together. That is true, but it doesn't mean that he needs to give up the life that he has had before you. Um, what you two are creating is special. It should be yours and it should be his. And it should, should be the two of you together. But to a certain extent, you do need to operate. You need to exist. You need to love. You need to enjoy and understand his own world. So the approach is for you to seamlessly fit into the life and the world that he has had before you. Um, in addition to the life and the world that you two are creating together. All that being said, do remember I don't have any kind of credentials or expertise in giving any kind of emotional, mental, or relationship advice. So do consider me like a digital friend sharing her, her opinion rather than, um, rather than actually giving an advice. But I do hope that I was able to help in one way or another. And if there's anybody out there who would like to chime in and probably could give a more sensible advice, I hope to hear from you guys. Thank you.